Hi, today um, I'm putting this video up that's kind of a tutorial on how to polish headlights without buying new headlights or even using the headlight restoration kits, that's the chemical. Um, simply what I'm using is sandpaper and a bench grinder. I have a thousand grit sandpaper as well as one of these fine grit sanding blocks that I picked up at the store and it's, they're not very expensive. But I didn't want to spend the money on buying headlights, so I thought I would try something simple. Here is the before, during, and after of the first headlight that I restored. And I didn't originally plan on making a video, so I didn't have any pictures before this. The top picture is what the car looked like on Craigslist, and the bottom picture is after I bought it and restored the headlights. And yes, I took the license plate holder off of the front too. Again, the picture on the top is a picture from Craigslist, and the bottom is what it looks like now. And here it is again, all the lights from different angles to kind of view it. What I bought to do this was a thousand grit sandpaper and then a sanding sponge. And then there is a bench grinder that I use for various things that has a buffer on the side. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sanding block and I've got here my headlight, which is really yellowed. Um, it's kind of a little bit rough feeling on the outside. But I'm going to take water and I'm going to put on this sponge and I'm going to pour a little bit of water here on this and I'm going to wet sand it. And I'm going to take and try to just eat off this outermost layer and it had a few bugs on it and I just I'm sanding the bugs off too while I do this. Alright, there we go. Alright, now I've got this here 1000 grit sandpaper that I've just kind of cut up. And now I'm going to take and wet sand it with it. crummy t-shirt from my high school and kind of wipe it off a little bit. Um, as of now it really doesn't look all that much different except it's a little bit smoother to the touch and it, I don't know, it kind of feels like you can tell that I've been sanding it. But now I'm going to take it inside to the bench grinder. Here I have a bench grinder and it's got a brush on the side of it, or not really a brush but the, the buffer pad and it has had the polish put on it but it hasn't had it put on it recently I found that if I put the polish on it right when I'm trying to work with the headlight that it'll scratch the headlight it'll dig deep down in it and then you've got to sand those kind of trenches out which that can be a headache but if you just take it and have polish on it and then run something on it to kind of eat most of the polish off where it won't leave any behind then it'll be a lot slicker and it won't won't dig deep down the headlight alright and now, because the bench grinder is kind of loud, um, I'm going to show this before I turn the bench grinder on, and then I'm going to film using the bench grinder. What I do is, once I get the bench grinder going, I take, and don't put it up against it kind of flat. Um, you just want to take it, and I'm trying to get this angle right, just barely hit the corner of it very lightly. Not, not difficult at all. Just barely lightly hit it as it spins. And I try to not ever hit it at the same spot twice. So if I touch it once with the headlight here, next time I come in I want to go somewhere else. And I kind of keep in a continual motion and all right, here we go. And now I'm going to try to see what I can do with this.
Alright, well, um, just to keep from beating a dead horse and making this video any longer, here you can already see, like, this is where it was before, and this is after I've been buffing on it. Um, I'm not totally done with this side. I'm going to keep buffing on it some more. And if y'all want to watch that, I will continue putting that, but I might put it towards the end of the video. Here's what the headlight looked like before. I sanded on it. Um, I tried other methods, toothpaste and headlight restoration, to not much luck at all. And this here is what they look like after being sanded and buffed. They look great. They may not look as good as a brand new set of headlights, but they don't look bad at all. And especially if you live somewhere that's as dusty as I do, it, they look as good as a new set of headlights for all practical purposes. And I'm going to put up a link to a video that is the entire buffing process. And thanks for watching.